All right, well, thanks for uh, having me, everybody. I'm glad to be here. Um, I wanted to give a little update on the UT video game archive to everybody, just in case we're not, but just in case we're not on the same page, I wanted to give a little background. Uh, the, uh, the video game archive is uh, housed within and administered by the Briscoe Center, as uh, John mentioned, um, which is here on UT campus. Um, and I uh, made a little diagram here uh, that kind of illustrates the uh, relationship uh, between the Briscoe Center and the Video Game Archive. Uh, we have other collecting in, uh, strengths uh, other than the Video Game Archive, such as Texas history and civil rights, and, uh, and there's uh, several more besides that. So uh, the Video Game Archive is just one, uh, one aspect of the Briscoe Center. So what is the Briscoe Center? Um, there's three activities that uh, up here, the stewardship, uh, scholarship, and outreach, and that, those come from our mission statement and uh, pretty accurately describe most of what we do. Um, the stewardship part is where I come in as, a, as an archivist, uh, where I collect, arrange, and describe, and preserve documentation and try and make it available to the public for, uh, for various kinds of uses. Uh, the, do the documentation we collect is usually what you would call a primary source, um, meaning that the documentation stands as direct evidence of a occasion or an event. Uh, an another way of thinking of primary sources is that they help tell a story of something that happened. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything momentous that happens. It uh, could be something every day, uh, for instance, game development. Um, and also, the, uh, the Briscoe Center uh, dates back to the uh, early part of UT's history. Uh, and we have a lot of Texas-related uh, hi historical documents, such as uh, Stephen F. Austin's papers and things of that nature. Uh, but since the 80s, the center's kind of expanded to, uh, to include all of American history. So with that uh, context in mind, it's a little bit easier to understand exactly what the uh, video game archive is all about and what we've been up to since uh, around 2008. Uh, we've been most interested in collecting primary source documentation on uh, game development. Uh, we focused on unique materials uh, as, as opposed to the software and hardware, the games and consoles. Uh, we want to save materials that are at risk of being lost, uh, that don't have a natural home uh, somewhere else. Um, also, the center uh, as a whole has a library component to it, and we would like to see uh, uh, the video game archive have a, a sort of reference library that includes texts and game history and game studies. Um, this is a picture of a researcher in our reading room uh, doing research with a box of documents. Um, one day I would really like to see um, us making games available in the reading room so where researchers and other interested uh, members of the public can come into the archive and come into our reading room and uh, check out a game to play. So this uh, video is going to get cut off a little bit, but that's all right. Uh, why should we focus, focus on documentation at the expense of collecting games and consoles? Uh, and why all this evidence, uh, such as this demo of Ultima Underworld? Um, because we're, in, we're interested in supporting research and uh, the study of games and game development, uh, game developers, biographies of game developers, and the game industry as a whole. Uh, this is this is especially true in our geographic region in Austin, also uh, Dallas Fort Worth area, being strong game development communities. Uh, it really is the game industry is really a part of our city and our state's history. So that's uh, it's a big part of our state's uh, history. So we're very interested in preserving that. Um, also, there are a variety of d disciplines that could be interested uh, potentially in studying these aspects of our soci society, uh, such as uh, history and American studies. Uh, I've, in particular, I've had uh, a handful of media studies uh, 
students that have been interested in some of the documentation that we've collected. Uh, people actually, maybe not in this building, but in the uh, building A, uh, people based in the RTF department who uh, have been interested. So there's uh, there's uh, an basically an academic, uh, a growing academic demand for uh, these kinds of things. And then you may ask, uh, why document game development? Uh, to me, it's an interesting subject in its own right. Uh, you know, how are games made? Uh, for the vast majority of the public, and I would even hazard to say for the ma majority of gamers, uh, it's kind of a black box. Uh, most people have only a superficial understanding of what, and especially who, the types of people that go into the making of a game, uh, like this, the games that are in this uh, uh, Origin promotional video that I think is from 1990. I think this is Origin 6, yeah, there it is. I mean, Ultima 6, sorry. Um, so we want to foster a better understanding uh, of, of what goes on uh, in game development. Uh, but only a very shallow sort of research can be conducted uh, if there are no repositories of documentation, uh, particularly primary sources, uh, for researchers to draw upon. And uh, we want to be one such repository of that type of documentation. And uh, ultimately, that is the reason we want to document game development. Uh, we recognize that game development is a serious and often creative pursuit, and uh, that has given us some of the most influential cultural products uh, in recent memory. Um, and we believe that influence of that magnitude deserves a closer look, you know, beyond the superficial understanding that uh, people a lot of times have about video games. Uh, and so this leads us to provide documentation and sources to the community so that people can give video games and game development the attention that they deserve. Hmm. Oh. Well, I'm getting the spinning wheel. That's all right. Open <laughs> um, it back up. We crashed. Um, so I, I was going to show you some examples, and I still will, of uh, things that we've uh, acquired so far since 2008 that will illustrate uh, some of the goals that I just uh, talked about. There we go. Uh, the top two pictures uh, are uh, part of Warren Spector's correspondence uh, created during the production of, De of Deus Ex. Uh, on the left is a box of email paper printouts. Uh, some of them have uh, handwritten uh, uh, annotations on them. Uh, and on the right is a DVD of uh, Spector's entire Ion Storm uh, Outlook email account. Uh, and yeah, it's 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 pretty good stuff. There's a uh, so together these sources provide a really fascinating and insightful look into the making of Deus Ex, and uh, and some probably fodder for Ion Storm gossip as well. <laughs> um, and then there's uh, here's a graph illustration from Richard Garrett's one of Richard Garrett's early games. Um, uh, you know, as an Illustrated, intended for computer graphics, uh, to be translated to computer graphics, it kind of shows how Garriott uh, created the visual parts of his early games. Um, and then this is a uh, Sega Genesis uh, test cartridge uh, for Son of Mule, the um, sequel to the uh, original Mule game. Uh, not many copies of this cartridge exist, so again, that's something that we wanted to save. Uh, I'll try and wrap it up here. Uh, here's a couple more uh, examples, uh, some visual documentation. Here's a design document, uh, and this is a schedule breakdown of uh, 
wing commander um, shutdown schedule. Here are some of the people that uh, have contributed to the archive so far. Um, David Rosen was the CEO of Sega. Uh, and Dennis Sister was the uh, principal game designer at Coleco for ColecoVision. And uh, I just wanted to make a real quick pitch to everyone that uh, I just want everybody to know about us as a resource. Uh, if you or any of your friends have a uh, are faced with the decision of throwing away some materials that you have or not, uh, just consider us. Uh, I can provide uh, examples of things that we're looking for at a later date. All right. And thank you. <laughs>